Ford is still standing there, waiting for the kid, locking it. Sure, the city marshals may be gone, but now the fort's crawling with windbags. young and old keep fighting for the fort. Something that'll punch clean through their greasy hides.
capsized. A lot of them wound up here in this very fort. Business on the ground in the old days. Cinderbrick gave him enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. Well, the fort ain't theirs, my brain. Can't blame him for wanting it, though. Sorry things hold up inside that old fort. Not a scratch on him as he presses on the higher ground. Got a squirt lure at the ready in case things turn sour. is playing gone haywire. Windbags gummed up the works.
bring out Glutus and Glandon, all their scumbag uncles. <laughs> They got something to gain, and only their sorry eyes to lose. The kid takes that, Lucas. Maybe it will land them. Good thing the windbags don't know kids fresh out of hell tonics. The other big fella soon joins his brother, wherever they are now. The windbags finally get the message. Kid shows up just as Ulf's telling me about his own journey to the city. Zolf's travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. The marshals seem like good men, he says. They treated him with dignity. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was his smoking pipe. after just one drag. 